So we're looking at 6b. Point B lies is added to the diagram so that OT equals minus B. Prove that T, P and S lie in a straight line. So there's your straight line. You've got to prove that T, P and S, they lie on a straight line. Now if I look at OT, which is minus B, if I just uh, sketch to help me visualize the vector. So I'm going to put O here. T is here, that's OT the vector, and it's minus B. Now P in relation to it is, say it's over here, so that's P, and the vector OP is given by A. Now, if I can find TP, and then go on to find PS, I have a look at their vectors and see what they say in, uh, about each other. So let's find TP in the first instance. TP is given by, to go from T to P, I can go back to negative OT. Plus OP. Negative OT is minus, minus B, plus A. So that's given A plus B. Let's have a look at PS then. Now if I look at the original diagram, I know what OS is, that's the vector traveling there, and I know what OP is. I want to find PS. To go from P to S, I can travel from P, because I'm going from P, I've got to start at P. So it's negative OP plus OS. Um, OP is A, so negative OP is minus A plus an OS from the first part of the question is 2A add B, which gives us 2A minus A, A add B. So TP is equal to PS. So because they're both equal to A plus B, that tells us that they are parallel. They're parallel. But I need to show that the points lie on a straight line. Now they must lie on a straight line because TP, the vector TP has got P in it and PS, the vector PS has also got P. So as they both contain P, and PS contain P. T, P and S must lie on a straight line. 